Kentucky voters still awaiting final election results tonight after server problems at the elections office delayed counting ballots for eight hours. Here on News Channel 13's Colleen Sikora has been following that story since last night. And Colleen, even though voting machines are working, they are playing a massive game of catch up here. Yeah, the last results were posted just before 2 p.m. this afternoon, and that included about 60,000 out of a record-breaking 80,000 ballots turned in for this election. Now, right now, the goal is getting all of the ballots through the system to try to get the final results. They're just waiting, just like I was, just to vote finally. After enduring long lines at the state fair, Lee Ortega voted for the first time on election day. Kind of a little bit long. I noticed they had a big line, but I stayed anyways. Now he's wondering why results aren't final. Kind of not really happy about that, so, but what can we do? It's all because of this server holding all the data from the voting counting machines, filling up at 9 30 Tuesday morning. The server filled up because ballots are longer than ever before in Pueblo County, totaling four pages per ballot. And each of those pages is stored as an image on the server. There's a lot of uh, data in one image, and there's four images per ballot. So um, that filled up our servers. And, um, and we weren't prepared for that. The new server brought down from Denver wasn't fully working until around 11 o'clock Tuesday night. We had to back up all of the data that was on the server just to make sure that it, it was kept um, because it was 15 days worth of work. The issues causing eight hours of work to be lost, needing to be made up today. today we have um, our judges running the ballots as fast as we can through the machines. While Ortiz says races aren't likely to change, Ortega is hopeful. I hope uh, something changes. That every vote is heard. Hopefully all the ballots do count. Now a joint press conference is scheduled with the Secretary of State's office and Ortiz for tomorrow, and we'll be sure to let you know what happens. Live in Pueblo, Colleen Sikora, KRDO News Channel 13. Colleen, thanks.